Nia, Nia, Babo.
more culture and nationality and technology and innovation. And they're ensuring that fairness, transparency, opportunity are what for. But ensuring that the greatest move is always for the greatest number. By ensuring that our youth and our young entrepreneurs have the right place and gender equality and parity come up to what you want for our government. We will build a space that works for all of us, in which there will be equal opportunity for everyone to pursue that legitimate aspiration. As your representative and the custodian of the legislative mandate, and remain focused on our goals by making life more comfortable, life more healthier and wealthier for all the citizens of the country. And as the 2023 general elections approaches, I want to enjoy every one of us to focus on issues and refrain from politics of vision, ethnicity, bigotry, or Diversity. We must respect divergent opinions and respect the fact that the beauty of democracy lies in the fact that we will not all share the same ideological and political views. What we want and what is negotiable is the reality. I want to charge all of us and our match and present the capital of us on the top. And all of our promises as we are coming to the last year and a half is on us. Let's have a final return from here. By this time next year, you will see the rail that will be transporting you from different parts of the country that will get not far off from here. You will see water transportation that will bring you not too far off from here. That will ensure that indeed all the nooks and crannies of the states. Are safe and secure, and that public utility will work. Health will be abundantly provided, and will ensure that the quality of education will do no reverse. Our tertiary education will continue to be open to all. Our institutions of learning will continue to be the best choice that we have in our country, and our children in the deep will see that the Lagos and the Lagos State the future is right for them. I wish to pay tribute to all of our heroes, past and present, those who have labored and sacrificed over the decades, and all who continue to labor and sacrifice today to guarantee the freedom for all of us. Sixty years ago, the freedom from colonial rule, which we are celebrating today, trying to attain freedom from terrorism, from poverty, that's from the impact of climate change and from moral decline. More than ever before, we will owe it a duty to the younger generation to collectively develop a lasting solution to whatever challenges we may have as a country. On which all of you, on which all the Russians, how we say everybody that is listening to me. In the happy Nigerian's second independence anniversary, in the neighbor of our heroes past and present, may never be in vain. God bless the neighbor state, God bless the federal republic of Nigeria, God bless you all. Thank you very much for listening.